All right, today is May 29th. We're going to give you guys another garden update. I'll start off with the tomatoes. I've got lots and lots of tomatoes ready. This, uh, this row is supposed to be San Marzano. You'll see them over there. But apparently I got my transplants messed up. And I've got, I think, early girl here in this row. And then this, the third San Marzano plant, which is supposed to be in the other row, is over here with the better boys. My Oregon Springs are all ripening. I really need to pick as soon as I get this video done. And then we've got the Garden Monster and Better Boy also ripening over here. Look at that. So good. I got no Blossom End Rot yet. I'm very happy. Um, my secret is eggshells in the compost and Epsom salt when I when I transplant. The dill you'll see is dying. I've cut it back a little bit. Got some seeds. I've got peaches and cream corn tasseling. I'm a little frustrated with this peaches and cream corn because it tassels extensively. You'll see it's a little bit burnt. It's been hot, about 105 today. I've got the water going. Uh, but it's just now getting silked out and I don't know what kind of yield I'm going to get because it's already releasing all its pollen and it's got nowhere to go. I got a box elder bug down here. I think, maybe. This corn is done. Got our last, got about half a dozen cobs off of it. Uh, carrots are gone. Bermuda is coming back. National pickling, pickling cucumbers. I, I wish I'd left them on the vine, but I've got uh, about half a bucket of pickles, or cucumbers, I should say, that are going to turn into pickles off of that. Today, I'm going to make pickles tonight. Jalapeno plant. Got some in here. These uh, these plants are almost two years, or they're almost a year and a half old, I should say. I bought them in January of 16. They got frost bit, and I moved them into this bed because I really didn't expect anything from them. They were basically dead. But I transplanted them, watered them, kept them warm, and they grew. And so I'm going to let this jalapeno plant go as long as it can. You'll see I, I've used the small tomato cages for support. These plants like to fall over, and uh, I'm not going to let them. I'm going to sneak through the laundry on the line here. Here's my Hopi blue corn. You'll see it's way taller than I am now. It's between 10 and 11 feet tall at the tallest. Um, my last video, I showed you the purple plants, the blue plants of this Hopi blue corn. Here we go. Here's the comparison for you on the blue ones. Tasseling all the same. Um, we actually picked one of these and, and ate it as sweet corn. Uh, interesting to learn that until they're mature, the seeds aren't blue. They were actually white. It looked a lot like Silver Queen. And uh, it, was, it was very rich corn flavor it it was it was definitely edible as sweet corn but it definitely wasn't sweet and then last but not least we've got these this tomato trellis over here with the shade up there again we've got more San Marzano paste tomatoes some of those are ready to pick they're getting a little sun scald I don't know what I can do about that I'm gonna have to figure something out um, better boy again I am going to have so many better boy tomatoes and then uh, and then beef steaks 
So all is well on the home front. About another month and I'm gonna shut down the garden here in Phoenix. It's just too hot. It's not worth the water, but uh, we're gonna keep it going as long as we can. So that's the garden update. Thanks for watching.